The mall is following all the safety protocols to keep everyone safe here. One of those safety protocols, if you look down at my feet right now, you'll see these markers, which are enforcing social distancing, staying six feet apart. You'll see these markers all throughout the mall. Also on the sliding glass door there, you'll see face masks being required at all times. In addition to security guards, and they're making sure that the mall stays at 20%. But despite being in the middle of the pandemic, that has not stopped hundreds of people from coming out to the mall today on one of the busiest days of the year. Historically, the day after Christmas tends to bring tons of people to the shopping mall, and it was no different on Saturday at Arden Fair Mall. Some shoppers, like Erin Dita, were out to get last minute Christmas gifts. Well, I had a secret Santa gift that I still have to get for somebody. <laughs> While other shoppers, like Cordell, just needed to get out of the house. We observed the stay at home order, but sometimes you just can't stay at home all the time. While many may get the urge to come out to do some shopping, ABC 10 medical expert Dr. Payel Coley reminds everyone the dangers of going to malls while COVID cases are on the rise. With the holidays, we all want to, you know, go to the stores and get out of the house and but Retail stores are also indoors. There's a lot of touch points. It's a relatively high risk situation when it comes to COVID. Overall, the main consensus from shoppers is for everyone to do their part to slow the spread of the virus. Just wear your mask properly, keep your distance, and don't go out if you, if you think you have symptoms or if you think you've been exposed. If you're out here today, try to remember the people that can't be because people are playing politics with their lives. So, you know, give some thought to them. Stay careful, stay alive. Now, Ananda, the good news is that no incidents have been reported here today, even though SAC PD has dedicated several officers here and extra officers here just to ensure everyone's safety. But once again, the main thing is just to enforce everyone to wear a face covering and, of course, practice safe social distancing.